Shanghai, 1937, Stalingrad on the Yangshi by Peter Harmson. Peter Harmson's book, Shanghai, 1937, Stalingrad on the Yangshi, offers an amazing view of the battle for Shanghai. Most Westerners today are largely unfamiliar with the events of the Sino-Japanese conflict that morphed into World War II after Pearl Harbor. Indeed, even the events in Asia during World War II are largely overlooked by most Americans today. Harmson's book will go far to rectify that. Shanghai 1937 begins by exploring the city itself. Perhaps the most international of cities in Asia, Shanghai boasted foreign residents from around the globe, many living and working in a section of the city known as the International Settlement. A low-level war had been brewing between China and Japan since 1931, but by 1937 it had exploded into a major conflict with Shanghai at its center. Harmson offers insightful looks at Chiang Kai-shek and his military leaders, as well as the Japanese generals. Particularly interesting is Harmson's exploration of German military advisors, some fleeing the Third Reich for political reasons, who helped whip Chinese military units into shape and, to no small degree, shaped Chinese military policy in its struggle. The gravity of several events are brilliantly laid out, such as the accidental bombing of the international settlement by Chinese planes in what came to be known as Black Saturday, and the heroic defense of a strategic warehouse by China's Lost Battalion. Where this book really shines is in the human tragedy that Harmson conveys. This was a war in which both the Japanese and the Chinese engaged in unspeakable atrocities. One expects a certain level of brutality in war, but many of the actions that occurred in this conflict were nothing short of satanic. Sometimes these atrocities took unusual forms, Harmson notes, such as when Chinese military doctors simply burned down a barracks with 200 injured Chinese soldiers inside because they felt that there was nothing that could be done for them. Additionally, the sheer scale of rapes and murders, often in the form of beheading, simply defies imagination. All told, this is a fine addition to historical writing and deserves a place on the shelf of everyone with an interest in military history or Asian studies.